We want to take just a minute this afternoon to explain the hand interlock switches, safety switches for the M4000 or the M4100. When we do this, we have to keep in mind that it's a two position switch. Historically, it's only been a one position switch that you would push down with your thumb or something of that sort. In this case, you pull it part way in, you can hear that click. When you pull it part way in, what you've done is you have satisfied that interlock. The philosophy is that if you were to get into something and uh, get tangled up in something that was energized, then it would cause your muscles to contract and you pull it all the way in. You hear there's another switch position there. When you pull it all the way in. When you pull it all the way in, what it does is it deactivates the interlock or, or it activates it to where you can't energize the output of the test set. So remember, pull in just far enough that you feel and hear one click. If you pull it all the way in, you're going to turn the test set off because the interlock has not been satisfied. If you let it back out one position, then it, it's been satisfied once again and you can go on with your testing. The thing is, is if that happens, maybe you, you've got it pulled all the way in. What happens is you get this uh, message that says test one of one failed. Test is not running. The safety switch one is open. And it doesn't matter which safety switch it is that you've got open. It's going to tell you that exact same message. Safety switch one is not open. You have not satisfied the, in, the hand interlock switches. And if that happens and you switch uh, switches and it doesn't change to safety switch two, it doesn't matter. It's still the same issue. You've got to remember that you only pull it in until you hear one click. Hey, one more thing that I wanted to share. If you guys get out in the field, you have something like this happen, you get into some kind of trouble, stuck, uh, Remember, don't fret, call Brett. I'm here to help.